1349, ordered by Jesus the First. He was one of the most important Mesir Sultan here in Granada. And he made this university, this Quranic school, because he wanted the most cultural population in Al Andalus. Indeed, this was a public university or a public Quranic school. And the students were living here, to the bottom, the side of the bottom. So they needed a space for pride. And this is it the massive pride room. For that reason, it's full of decoration. It's the most important space into this madras. As a, um, as a bright room, the most important part is that wall. This is the Kibla wall, and in the middle, you can see the mirror. The Salaman is marking the direction to the Mecca. For that reason, you can see the golden color. It's the sacred element into this place. And here, the decoration you have been in the Alhambra is practically the same. <coughs> Yeah, and that's where palaces were made by the same sultan. Were started by the same sultan, which is the first. So the first part, so was made with ceramic materials. You must imagine that this part was around the room, everywhere. And inside that point, all the decoration is made with plaster, because they needed a soft material for made all this beautiful decoration. They need more years. That indeed, they made all the building in only nine years. This plaster decoration. It's a combination between floral elements, geometrical forms, the mocarabics, this kind of stalactite, remember the natural uh, cave or the natural growth. And obviously the most important and interesting part are all the descriptions that we can read here. This room is talking to us. We can read different Quranic surahs and we can read also important phrases for the Nasri culture, as for example the famous Al-Akbar, Allah is the greatest. But maybe here, the most important for us is the Nasri motto. There is no concrete but Allah. We can read it, for example, you can see the wall over the windows, it's repeating four times, and we can see that this phrase continues in that part, into the mirror, this one, or even into the stairs, that element. Mm -hmm. The interior is with a, of a kind of calligraphy, of calligraphy, but it's the same phrase everywhere. About the preservation of this space, it's a really curious history because we preserve this room because of a miracle, an accident actually. When the Catholic monarch conquered Granada, they closed the madras. The Quranic uh, students weren't allowed anymore here. But they decided to reuse this building with a new function the first town hall. And for her, the Christian town hall, they didn't want a Muslim decoration. Indeed, they wanted to erase the massive history here. So they put panels and plaster for hiding all this decoration. And until the end of the 19th century, this room was completely covered by wooden, uh, wooden panels. Later in the 19th century, the history was different. This building was built, uh, was uh, bought, I'm sorry, for a, a textile merchant, a businessman. He had no idea about the history of this building. Nobody remembered that this was the Asia Madras. And a few years later, a big fire happened here. The wooden ceiling was destroyed because of fire, and the different pieces fall down, destroying part of the wooden panels that the Christian put over the decoration. So when this man discovered it, that he had an S3 gesture under his wall, he obviously paid for a restoration. He removed all the Christian panels from the Christian space as a minimum time. For that reason, we can say that the discovery died in the best moment for this moment, <coughs> and that's really important. And for that reason, we can see not only the form, but also the colors, something really weird and unique in an as we got. About right now, recent history, this building is part of the University of Granada. They bought the building in the year 1976. And they decided to investigate the history researches, and four years ago they made an archaeological excavation and they discovered that the madrasa was made over ancient rest. The first part, the ancient one, is this corner, made in the 11th century. It's part of an ancient city house. The city was the first Islamic kingdom here in Granada. Later, under the new kingdom, the Almohade, 12th century, they made a bigger house. And we can see the dancing wall. 
And later, in the end of the 13th century, under the Nasri Kingdom, the last one, this part of the city was the new center, or the new political center, and they made a new street, this one, for going onto the uh, Alhama Mosque, the great mosque in Granada, was under the cathedral. So this is part of that one. Later, in the year 1349, Sultan, this is the first, decided to make this madrasa, and the architect reused it, those archaeological rest, as a foundation. They had a the stone foundation, so they, they, they didn't need to make a new one. And for that reason, we can find it. A wall in the middle, you can see a can, this is for water, obviously, because the Darro River is in that direction. Well, now, if you want, we can continue, we will see the first floor. Thank you, thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you very much. <laughs>